even the guy who's the world champion, the world record holder, is a terrestrial mammal, and sometimes you see surprising things happen. Watch this video. All right, so here's a funny thing. After, after the race, and somebody asked Lezak about the race, he said, I don't know how I did it, all right? So I watched that video, they have underwater, and what I did was I counted the strokes of the two of them on the second lap. All right, because when I see something like that happen, I want to get, I want to understand it. All right, and here's what I found. All right, there, there are their times. Look at, look at Bernard's stroke count. 46 strokes to Lezak's 34. I mean, that's insane. Utterly, utterly insane. Like, it's, the analogy is Usain Bolt gets the baton and suddenly starts running like this. <laughs> Couldn't happen. Couldn't happen. But to a terrestrial mammal, even the world record holder in the 100 meter free, went on a couple days later to win the 100 meter gold medal. High pressure situation, just out of his mind. All right? So his, his, um, his stroke rate was 25% higher, but Lezak's length was 36% higher, and that made the difference. All right? So here's the thing speed is not a getting faster problem. In virtually every instance, it's a getting slower problem. Why are these people pulling away and these falling behind? In every instance, their rates are going up. The, the people who get the medals, are, their rates are going up a little bit. Right? The people who don't get the medals, their rates are generally going up more. The people who get the medals are holding their length better. It's, it's without exception. Stroke length determines how fast you swim. All right? So, as I said here, faster strokes is a problem not a solution. And losing length is the number one cause for losing speed.